Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna be crushing my 2024 backlog. There are so many sets here, it's actually crazy. We got the Lunar New Year Chinese Restaurant, the New Battle Pack, the Burger Truck, Rocket Raccoon, the T-Rex Skull, the Spider-Man Mask, the new GWP, Spider-Man vs. Sandman, all of the dream sets, these 12, CMFs, hopefully I get the full collection, that would be epic. Also Bowser's Muscle Car and then Ariel's Palace. So a ton of good sets and I can't wait to get building. No word of a lie everybody, the Burger Truck which retails for $20 and has 194 pieces is one of my favorite sets of the year so far. Like this set is sick, <laughs> it's actually awesome. I like right when I saw it I knew I would love it. But after building it, I'm like, yo, this thing is sweet. So we get this burger truck, right? And the highlight to me is the fact that everything is print. These flames are print. That burger sign right there is print. The top of this guy's massive hamburger is print. <laughs> like that is so cool. And check it out. Not only do you get the burger truck, but you also get this massive burger stand, which can actually be removed from the truck. This guy's a pretty cool minifig too. I love the fact that he comes with this huge hamburger, like that's funny. He also has uh, the built-in hearing aid in his hairpiece. I think that's a super neat print element. Also, I like his torso. Yeah, and then we have the uh, chef right here. She's got her gloves on, the flaming burger on her apron there, and she's wearing a hat. She's got a little fork there as well. The truck is a pretty basic build, but still, look at those flames. That is rad. You can fit a minifigure inside, of course. It's a good build. And the whole point is, is that you put the burger restaurant on the back, and look at it. Got the door there, and you got the different layers. It's a pretty simplistic build, but I like it. You got like the bun on the top that even has like the seeds on it. I can't remember if we can remove this. Yeah, you can remove it so you can see inside. There's nothing really inside, like, it's nothing crazy. There's just like a burger, which is a two by two circular plate on a two by six plate for like the cooktop. So literally the details are definitely lacking, but still, I just like the concept of this massive hamburger that fits on the, uh, the back of the, the truck. Yeah. Super cool for 20 bucks. You really can't go wrong. This one is a retro food truck with 310 pieces. It was a gift with purchase that I picked up on January 1st, I think I had to spend $245 to get this one here. I like it. It's a uh, hot dog stand. You can see right here, it says hot dog and snacks. Comes with two minifigures. The minifigures aren't anything like crazy. We've got this lady here that has a hearing aid. It seems like that is definitely a trend. Some of the minifigures have the built-in hearing aid now, like in their hair. And this one just has the print detailing. Then you've got the guy who's operating the concession stand. Uh, pretty cool truck. I like the color of it, like that light blue. And then it's got the awning going over top of the service window there. And the uh, thing that can flip closed on the back here for the condiments. So that's where they put their condiments. You can stow those away in the truck and then flip that closed there. Not bad at all. Uh, of course, you can open this up to uh, have a look at some of the interior details. I really like the part usage of the Wolverine claws to create the fries right there. There's a grill on the left side with a sticker element and then just some other things throughout there, such as uh, these little milkshakes right here. Yeah, pretty cool little build. And yeah, I definitely like this. When they do um, GWPs that are Lego icons, they're typically pretty good. This is the third, no, probably there's probably more than that, but the three that I remember like vehicle wise is this one, also the moving truck, and then there was that uh, vintage convertible with like the surfboards on the side. This one also comes with the uh, sandwich board, which is pretty cool. It's just like this little advertisement right here. Hot dogs, deal. They got some of the things represented on the sticker there, like some of the things that they sell, such as the fries and the milkshake and, of course, the hot dogs. Yeah, definitely a cool little GWP that I'll have parked up somewhere, maybe uh, by the beach or something in the uh, Lego City or just driving around. Very cool. Me being excited about a smaller Mario set does not happen very often, but Bowser's muscle car is actually sick. Like, I love this thing. It retails for $30, 
comes with 458 pieces and the build was just outstanding. Honestly, like this thing is beauty. I don't have a Bowser at this scale in my collection. I have the big Bowser, but the Bowser build was fantastic. The one thing that I really like about it, that's print. His eyes are print. His nose are print. Everything is print. That just makes my day. His arms can articulate, of course. He looks mean. He's angry. His Bowser, right? His shell is incredible i'm sure these pieces aren't new but the piece that was used to create his shell like this modified plate here is just epic and it's at that perfect angle there i like that after you're done building bowser you build his car and his car is actually crazy like it's got the uh, two tones right so you got like the regular purple then like the lilac and it's got the spikes on the wheels the front of it is just awesome. You've got like this face with the eyes, the part usage to create all this is really cool. Like the teeth, the, like the mouth. Also, you can pull this lever right here and that little Bowser will go up and down. It's got the, like the fins on the back here, the wings. And then you can also open up the trunk and in the trunk is two bombs. Right, so we're actually getting a Mario Kart. I don't know if it's not actually branded as a Mario Kart, but that's what I'm gonna call it. It's a Mario Kart. And you can actually fit any of the uh, characters. For example, here on Mario, you can fit him inside as well. And you can do the same with Peach or Luigi. But of course, I'm gonna keep Bowser in mind because that just makes sense. Love the fact that he just fits in there. It's just such a cool little display. It's gonna look great with the other premium Mario sets in my collection. I want to start with the minifigures that I got. So this was uh, series 25. First off, we've got this lady here with the purple wings and the interesting hair and the pink face and the gold claws. This is a harpy. Next up, we have this detective that is in black and white. He comes with a magnifying glass and also a red fish. This is probably one of my favorites from the series. This is the Vampire Knight. I love the print detailing. Also, that shield there. His weapon is pretty cool. His helm. His cape is actually like a more rigid fabric than the average cape. It has some nice printing on it as well. And I really like his face because he's a vampire, right? So he's got like a mustache. His eyebrow is raised. And he's got those vampire teeth. And then on the backside, he also has an alternate face. And who doesn't like a Triceratops costume? Yeah, that head decoration is amazing. This is a dog groomer. I love that dog. That is so cool. I don't know what breed it is, but I definitely recognize it. And she also has the new hairpiece that has the built-in like hearing aid as well. Then we have a fitness instructor. Check it out. Vita Rush. That's a cool reference. Also the 10 kilogram weight the arm tattoo, and of course, a six pack. I love this mushroom costume here. Look at that head decoration, that's amazing. Also comes with a really nice looking butterfly there. Yes, the goat is back everybody, and the goat herder comes with an all white goat. Oh, I love when you get animals paired up with CMFs, especially if they're goats. And there's also a eSports Gamer, comes with the trophy, the colorful keyboard, also the colorful mouse, which I really like. Uh, she's got some headphones there, a pink hair, and then of course her uh, jersey there actually represents Black Falcon Knight, which I think is a super cool reference. And who doesn't like somebody in a train costume? Oh man, that's so cool. This is a train kid. Oh, just an all-around very cool minifigure. I love the concept. Last but not least, we have a Fierce Barbarian. Oh my gosh, that is a super cool weapon element. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get the entire series. I'm missing one, but I got 12, right? Like, I bought 12 of them, and I ended up with 11 different varieties. The duplicate that I got was the Vampire Knight, and the one that I didn't get is known as the Sprinter. Not bad, hey? There's definitely a lot of good ones in this series. The Jurassic World Dinosaur Fossils T-Rex Skull. Retails for 40 bucks, 577 pieces. As soon as I saw this one, I was like, you're coming home with me. Dinosaur Fossils, that's plural. Okay, maybe that's because we get two different fossils. But are they going to give us more? I don't know. Interesting question there. But I guess we get the 
fossil of the footprint, which is super cool. Right below that is the specifications plaque. I like the way that this was built with the brackets, uh, slopes, inverted slopes, all that. It sits on this really neat base here with the palm leaves and the two different angles, the reddish brown. And then look, right back here, there's an Easter egg. What is that? Oh, it's the amber. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. You got the stand here, and the T-Rex skull is actually attached to the stand with this tile. If I were to pop this tile off, it would pretty much detach right from it. It's held on by a jumper, but that's what's holding it onto the stand. So it's on there good, which I like. Uh, it's just a bracket that connects it. But yeah, look at the skull. Got the tan, dark tan, those teeth. And then like the uh, eye hole, right? Yeah, it just came together um, beautifully in my opinion. I think it looks just like a T-Rex skull, which I'm a huge fan of. I try to go to the Royal Tyrell Museum, which is in Drumheller, uh, just south of me about three and a half hours. As, as much as I possibly can because I love looking at dinosaur fossils. I am just intrigued. And I also love these movies, right? Yeah, I had to have this in my collection because I love these movies. What a great set. I also liked this reference here. Inside the instruction manual, there's a little bit of information. And specifically right here, they say, look, 46 bones in the original, or like in an actual T-Rex skull, with 382 pieces in our model. Then they have a little write-up on the, the amber and a couple movie stills there. And then you get building. Yeah, definitely like this set. It's, it's for sure a winner. Like, it's, it's a beauty. The ultimate LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack. $30, 215 pieces. Look at all those minifigs. Right on. I actually got two of them. Yeah, not bad at all. Look at all that stuff. That's so good. Yes, we got six super battle droids. And four regular battle droids. Two of them are right back here on these speeders. That's actually a cool mini build for this set. I like that. Getting the stap speeder for the droids. Look at the way they just hang on there. That's so neat. Also, these ones have their guns on their back because they have like the one by one modified plates with the clip. So that's cool. And then we get a bunch of troopers. So there's six troopers total. So three per battle packs. So we've got three clone troopers there. Two of them come with the uh, long blasters with the candlesticks on the end. And then the other ones. They come with blasters as well. I put them on the back of my speeder bikes right over here. Nice dark red speeder bike. There's dark red speeder bike. Like it's got the dark red accents. So that's what I'm trying to say there. Holy cow, it's been a day, everybody. Been building lots of Lego. Then we have two shock troopers. Yes, that is the highlight of the set, right? Shock troopers. Also, I think the super battle droids. Also, I think the clone troopers as well. Yeah, the figures are the highlight in general. You can never go wrong with uh, battle droids too. But 30 bucks for, you know, you get four figures and then five droids. Not bad at all. I foresee a lot of people army building with this set. That is for sure. In addition to all of that, you also get these little outposts right here, these little battle stations that have this shooter where you can launch a tile. What the heck? Oh, oh my gosh, it just got it right in the face. Literally, it just... <laughs> It just hit me right in the face. No, that's hilarious. But it's got like these uh, pieces right here for the guards, which is really cool, or like the walls. And then in here, there's a little print piece as well. So there's the mine piece right there. Yeah, little mine piece. So yeah, a great battle pack. One of the best battle packs that I've ever purchased. Lego also sent me all of the brand new Dreams products that came out on January 1st, and let's take a look at those. This is Mateo's Off-Road Car, retails for 10 US dollars and has 94 pieces. Now, the interesting thing about all the Dreams products is the fact that they're not for sale. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But they actually um, have alternate builds. You can see there's the vehicle there and also the aircraft. So you can replace the tires with these propellers or helicopter blades. This is a pretty interesting vehicle, but I can't say that any of the Dream stuff is really up my alley. I really like the parts that are in these sets, the sticker elements, and also the minifigures. I find the minifigures have great added detail, and there's a lot of these like hourglass elements, which are super cool. This car is pretty interesting. It's got like the 
transparent green elements that act as like the suspension. There's some cool sticker pieces. It's got the big motor on the back. It's not a bad little build, $10, a cool minifigure. And you've got this little uh, print piece on the back here too, which is probably like, I don't know, the blob. I'm sorry, everybody, I haven't watched uh, Dreams at all. So I'm gonna keep these reviews short and I'm not gonna do the alternate builds. This set also comes with that little mini build there as well. And this character looks like it stole the hourglass and that's who he's chasing after. This one's actually super cool. It's Mr. Oz's space car. I really like the minifigures that are in this set. Look at Mr. Oz, pretty sweet. And the nice thing about this one is it actually has three different builds. You can see those builds on the back. So you can create just a vehicle, which can go in your Lego city, or there's a like rover, I'm gonna call it, or an aircraft. I built mine as the aircraft. I really like this like trans opal piece right there for the windscreen. That's crazy, right? Then you've got the big tires on the back. Definitely a space vibe. Pretty sweet. I like that Mr. Oz minifigure. You can see him standing on top of the craft there. There's also Jaden and then this character right here who is Albert. We also got this like enemy right here as well with the trans pink wings and the brain. This is definitely a pretty cool build. I like the uh, sticker element right there because you've got like a classic space sort of variant logo. And then of course this can open up. You've got uh, quite a large seating area inside. It's a, it's a good construction. You've got some parts that can pose here. And once again, you can turn it into the vehicle. So if I wanted to put this in my Lego city, I definitely could do that. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it though, to be honest with you, but I like the minifigures and I like the parts. Also, when you build the aircraft, you get like this vehicle right here. It is essentially nothing, just a frame with four tires. This one retails for 30 US dollars. It has 350 pieces. The instruction manuals are very colorful, like in the inside, and all of the alternate builds are in the same instruction manual. You're just told to like flip to different pages depending on what you wanna build. And something interesting about the Dreams products is they actually have paper bags inside. They weren't all paper bags, but there was a combination of plastic and paper. This one here is Zoe and Zion, the Owl Cat. It retails for $50 and has 437 pieces. The Owl Cat is something different. Like, oh boy, look at that. Look at the pieces on the back. Those are some crazy pieces. Wow. Look at all the tiles and all the different colors, all the different points of articulation. These are print here as well. So definitely they went all out on like creating some interesting pieces. Look at the tail. Now this one actually had two different alt builds. Uh, you could do the tail feathers like I did, or you could also do the wings as it's depicted on the box there. Now this right here is one of the craziest minifigures I've ever seen. Look at that guy. Crazy, look at his hat. More of those trans pink wing elements, the big eye there. Man, that thing is wild. Also, this minifig and this little mini build is pretty cool as well. The big hammer too, like that is an aggressive hammer. <laughs> Jeepers, this minifigure over here comes with another one of those hourglasses. And some crazy print detailing on her. And this one's pretty funny with the giant head. Pretty cool. And then this interesting looking cat here as well. Now you can't have dreams without a narwhal hot air balloon, right? This one here retails for $16 and has 156 pieces. And it is literally a narwhal hot air balloon. Are you kidding me? And look, the narwhal can like, rah, I can open up. How funny is that? Uh, you can make a, a hot air balloon, or you can also make like a chariot. The uh, alternate build is right here on the back. You can see it's like a chariot. The minifigure is really cool. I love her hair and also her sword and the bunny rabbit and also the print detailing. Also comes with this little minion right here as well. The largest dream set retails for 90 US dollars and comes with 723 pieces. Look at all the figures though. I like the Sandman right there. Look at his legs. That's crazy. Also this guy with the pencil, I mean it's business. 
And then we get another one of her with the like trans opal hair or whatever color that is. This witch and this blue guy right there. Gosh, I'm good at reviewing dreams. The blue guy, right? You can't have dreams without the blue guy. <laughs> then you also get uh, the bird back there, this spider, and this massive castle. This is the Sandman's Tower. I think this is not really a castle. It's a tower. But I like this build technique on the side here. This looks like cogs of a gear. The clock. The nice gold ingot door there. These uh, leaf elements. Is that a new color for them? That's beautiful. I like that. The gold railings, also these like claw elements. There's like the lookout right there and another lookout or like part of the tower right there, another gear cog. And this clock up top here is super cool. Check it out. When I turn this gear, the clock is going to rotate and the top is going to rotate as well. And look what's inside. It's a giant hourglass build. Isn't that cool? I thought that was pretty neat. And I like the way it was built. It's actually pretty simplistic. That gear just goes through there and connects to three more gears. And then that spins the entire top of the Sandman's tower. So there's one other alternate build for this. So you can build the tower. And I'm going to call the other one like a fortress because it's sort of elongated, right? It's not as tall. So you build the base. And then you make a decision, like, am I going to build the tower or am I going to build that? Yeah, these minifigures are super cool. Right off the hop, I'm going to say that this set is ridiculous. It's pretty much just covering up Lego's mistake, but they did it in a weird way. This thing here costs $38. It's Spider-Man versus Sandman Final Battle. All right, this set is compatible with Spider-Man No Way Home Final Battle. I get it. We get Sandman now. We can put him on top of the Statue of Liberty. We also get Lizard. But we also got another Spider-Man. And another Electro, but this Electro has less electricity. This is the one that comes with this set. This is the one that came with the original set. So essentially, Lego's listening to all of the critiques and being like, oh, okay, they wanted Sandman and also Lizard to complete that battle. We're going to issue another set, but then you're going to get Lizard, Electro, Spider-Man, and Sandman. Because when I remove the top of this, there's the original Sandman, and you're supposed to remove that, and now I can place this guy on top. And after I do that, honestly, my opinion is now that it's just too chaotic. There's just too many figures on this small set. Like, yeah, sure, it's cool. There's lots of action. There's a ton of minifigures and... It's crazy, but like, where am I gonna put all these figures? Now this thing is just too small to handle this much action. That's just my opinion. And maybe that's why originally they didn't do it because it's just too much packed onto a small set. It's epic, there's no question about it, but geez, it's looking like sort of a chaotic mess at this point. We got uh, Rocket Raccoon and Baby Groot retailing for 60 bucks, 566 pieces. Look at that. So Baby Groot. This represents Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I would believe, but I don't think the scale is right. Even little Baby Groot is bigger than that when you compare him to Rocket. But I think it's cool that they included a Baby Groot minifigure in the set nonetheless. Uh, yeah, this set here, uh, ironically, I really like it. <laughs> it's actually a sweet set. Like, I saw this in Billund early, and I really like the look of it. I just think that his face is, like, really well done. Like, his mouth, his teeth, the whiskers, the nose, the eyes, the print piece, his ears, everything about it. Or print pieces, I should have said. The back of it is well sculpted. It's not like it's a flat back, right? It's really well done. Like, this is one of my favorite buildable characters, I think. Honestly. His uh, legs can articulate there. Uh, retails for 60 bucks, 566 pieces. So I guess it is a little bit on the expensive side, that's for sure. I like the fact that he comes with guns that can fit in his hands. And his hands can articulate and his fingers can articulate around those guns. And they are clipped in place there using some of the uh, clips and some like bar elements. His tail is uh, really cool. 
like the barrel elements, the bush, the curved slopes. Also, because of the points of articulation by his feet there and also on his hips, you can sort of put him in like a squatting action position and he's stable enough. You can move his head, have him looking down, have him looking up, have him looking to the side. So I think that's really neat. Also, the tail touches the table there. So it actually acts as like a support for him. So I just really like the fact that you can put him in an action pose. And once again, I think that looks a lot better than the box art. The Spider-Man mask retails for $70 and that's 487 pieces. I thought that price was a little bit high, especially when you have a look at the Canadian price of $100. Oof, over 20 cents apart for this thing here. And it's not all print. The big ones on the face are print. That one's print. Uh, I think these ones on the side are print, but these ones back here are all sticker elements. So there's actually a fairly large sticker sheet. I do like the end product though. It does look pretty cool. Like I like the printed plaque there as well. It's gonna match up with the other ones quite nicely. I like the angles with like the eyes and all these different panels and the way that they're attached using uh, ball joints and different points of co uh, connection to get the shape of the mask. Yeah, but a hundred bucks, like that's like crazy, man. You're like buying this for a hundred bucks here in Canada. It's like, really? I'm gonna go buy this Lego set for a hundred bucks with 487 pieces. Ah, yeah, it's a bit out there, but I do like the end product. I think it presents really well, the red, really pops with the black, of course. The eyes are really well done. And there are some print pieces in the set. This is the mini Disney Ariel's Castle. It is 557 pieces and retails for 40 US dollars. So quite a few pieces. And a lot of those pieces are actually very interesting colors. There's a lot of gold and a lot of like this transparent pink color. Do you see those like burn elements right there? And also these circular pieces up here and the dishes and the large like shell element there. And like this thing up top here, Jose actually built this and I was sort of peering over her shoulder because I was really interested in the part usage to create like the spires or the towers in the castle. There's a lot of brackets that were used and a lot of snot bricks that were used. I like it. I would have preferred if it came with a minifigure. Like I like Ariel in a minifigure, but she looks good as a mini doll as well. And I get why they want to make a mini doll aerial for the set. I sort of understand that. This is gonna pair up beautifully with the other like miniature Disney castle, that one there. And also uh, the miniature Haunted Mansion and the uh, Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight Over London. I just think like these little display sets look really good. Also Agrabah, but I was definitely disappointed that Agrabah didn't come with a minifigure. Like that was a bizarre decision in my opinion. Oh, one other thing too. I just wanted to show you this because I was mentioning all the brackets and stuff, but you can see how there's like the trans blue elements on top of those brackets and then the gold grates that go on top of those. So you can see like the trans blue sort of just peeking through. So definitely a lot of interesting colors and combinations of pieces that were used to construct this mini castle. That is where the crushing has to stop. By crushing, I mean building. But yeah, I built a lot of stuff today. Like I've been building all day. Unfortunately, I just don't have time to build the family reunion celebration, which is a massive Chinese restaurant, just because it's 1,823 pieces and I would be working until tomorrow morning trying to get that done. And I also want to build that, uh, review it and place it in my Lego city. So I think that needs its own video. I will be placing all of these sets in a future video. I just, I'm out of time today here, but there's been so many great sets this year already. I like the Marvel editions. They're fantastic. I think this CMF lineup is sick. So the way I was able to get such good variety is actually uh, picking every like third or fourth box out of a fresh case. This battle pack is awesome. We've got some dinos, that dinosaur skeleton or dinosaur skull, so cool. Nice little Disney set there. Some Marvel editions as well. Spidey and Rocket, Bowser. Not bad at all. This little food truck, the hot dogs truck, and then the burger truck, and then all the dream stuff. The dream stuff, 
I could probably live without. But I think it's got a lot of good minifigures and a lot of good, great parts. And now that I think about it, I'll probably just give this stuff away. Yeah, either that or part it out. One of the two. Give it away or part it out or put it in a box, I guess. Either way, there we go. That's uh, the first building vlog of 2024. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the very near future. And have yourselves a fantastic day. Farewell.